Welcome to Outside the Box. I'm Rebecca Romaine, and I'm sitting here with my co-stars from Eastwick, Jamie Ray Newman and Lindsay Price. We're going to be asking each other some questions that you've submitted and also uh, answering some questions that are outside the box. I'll start. How similar are you to your characters? Jamie, <laughs> you go first. Okay, um, I uh, my uh, I would say I'm pretty dissimilar from Kat, actually. Um, I mean, I find things in common with her, and I, I have great adoration and respect for her. But I, she, you know, she has five kids, and she got married when she was 18, you know, to her high school sweetheart, and is kind of, you know, has a lot of responsibilities and burdens on her shoulders. Um, I don't even have a boyfriend. <laughs> You're just footloose and fancy. Free. Right. You both have red hair. I was doing the same thing. And you both have nice tomatoes. <laughs> Can I have that back? I reacted too strongly to that. Okay. Um, you got scared Lindsay? of that pillow? Oh. Oh, from oh. Sylvia in Yuma, Arizona. So, Lindsay Price, have you ever tried any love spells or other love hocus pocus? I don't think that I have, Sylvia. However, I did write in my diary, um, I love a certain someone. I, I'm not going to say the name. <laughs> okay, his name is Scott Andre. <laughs> That isn't too hard. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, already, I'm flushing. Am I flushing? Blushing? Um, in seventh grade or sixth grade, and I wrote it so many times, and then the next week, he started to really like me. Ooh. And then once he started liking me, I, I got scared. Just like I, your character. I know, that's weird. It's blowing my mind. But we've cast a spell. Yes. We cast a spell to get this show picked up. We did. Mm-hmm. And it worked. Us. And it worked. <laughs> On oh, yeah. average, how much time do you spend in hair and makeup? Hours. Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun because the three of us go into the trailer at the same time, usually because we have, you know, so many scenes together. And we're all sort of on the same schedule, mm -hmm. right? About an hour and About some an hour change. And a half. Yeah. Yeah. The the women of Eastwick are um, simple women. <laughs> it's a it's they're not like not, 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 high not, super, not super high maintenance. No. no. Lindsay to Rebecca. 78% of AOL television viewers said that they would most like the power of premonition. Oh. What power do you wish you had? <laughs> that is so interesting. <laughs> because I would not want the power of premonition. I think it would inhibit the way I live my day-to-day -day life. And I think I would be a much more guarded person. And I think, honestly, it's having played the role of Roxy so far has made me realize that I would not want to be a psychic. I think before I started this show, I would have been like, sure, I'd like to be psychic. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, it would be a, pretty, a fairly dark existence, I think. A blessing and a curse. A blessing and a curse. It's a double-edged sword. Yeah. Um, which power would I like to have? I'd like to be able to teleport. <laughs> That's so weird. So would I. So really? would I. Mm -hmm. Really? You read my mind. <laughs> <Psychic. laughs> Are we proud to be nude or do we bring in the double? <laughs> well, it depends on how nude. Because if it's like nude, nude, bring in the double. <laughs> yeah. Especially if coming from the lady that just had babies. Bring in the double. <laughs> bring in the double. <laughs> <laughs> if I were Rebecca Romaine, I would be proud to be nude. Yes, yeah, I agree. Bringing the double. Yeah. So far, we've, so far we've done some some nude. I don't like the word nude. Let's change it to naked. So far we've done some some naked, and we, none of us have used doubles. I was in a flesh-colored thong for most of Thursday. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just saying, that was me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and what well, and I was I changed. Oh yes, mm -hmm. and, and that was all you. Yes, the whole that crew was, on me. Get, was excited about that scene. Mm -hmm. And we do our own stunts too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We got, awesome. we got bruises to mm -hmm. prove it. Vampires seem to be everywhere this, these days. Who would win in a fight, an Eastwick witch or a vampire? Well, you're asking oh, me the question. <laughs> 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 Let's both answer it. No, you I, answer I, it. I think the Eastwick witch, because we, 
<laughs> we, well, that's a good answer. <laughs> because we have, you know, we're, we're, we have, I, you know, Joanna can just say, you don't want to suck my blood. Yeah. And they and they would say, I don't want to suck your blood. And they'd go away. You, you could electro- electrocute them. Yeah. And you'd know it was coming because you'd have a dream about it. I'd just avoid Done. the fight altogether. Vampires, vampires. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite TV or movie witch? Oh, good question. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I was in college and a, a friend of mine who lived in L.A., um, went to Sundance and saw the midnight screening of the Blair Witch Project. And I'd never, no one had heard of it. Like, no, you know, it was the first screening ever. And he called me up and he was like, I am telling you, this is the most incredible thing you've ever seen in your time. And then, like, the next week they were screening it in Chicago. And I went and I got a bunch of, at this place called The Brew and View, where you can, like, you know, drink beer and do other things. And, um... I saw the Blair Witch. <laughs> what, what else do you do with the Brew and View? Less, less legal things. No. <laughs> and I, um, I we, we saw the Blair Witch Project. I guess that's not a witch, but it was the most amazing witch, you know, kind of uh, influence thing I'd ever seen. And this is before, you know, anyone kind of knew what it was. So that really rocked my world. The most impactful witch for you. Yes, yeah. yes. My favorite was, was Samantha. But they weren't asking you. They were asking me. I'm just saying, Rebecca answered my question. <laughs> I was going to. I'm going to answer your question. But reason. I got cut off <laughs> by <laughs> you. <laughs> Wait, who would it be, Samantha and Bewitched? Mm-hmm. Uh, Mine are the two witches in Wicked. But that's not oh, TV yeah. or a movie. Oh, but still. But that's my favorite story about witches. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Until ours came along, of course. <laughs> right. So, um, Rebecca. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joel in Richmond, Virginia, wants to know um, about your recent visit to Comic-Con. What was the craziest fan encounter while you were there? I was blown away by Comic-Con. I want to I go back. That was my first time going to Comic-Con. And um, wasn't that a fun weekend? Love, I love Comic-Con. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, we, should know, say, we should tell them that story yeah. about when we were in the van. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we were in the van, and this actually wasn't an actual encounter. But <laughs> it was a near encounter. It was a near encounter. <laughs> and there was a woman walking down the street wearing head-to-toe blue bodysuit. And it was pretty obvious who she was there as. And Jamie and Lindsay go, look, it's Mystique. <laughs> and I went, where, where, where? And I saw her, I was like, Pfft. She's wearing a blue wig. Mystique has red hair. So then they were daring me to go out there and give her, tell her how it is. Yeah. And say, Get I'll it let right. it go. If you watch Eastwick, Wednesday, Wednesday. nights at 10. ABC. <laughs> and on that note, uh, I'd like to thank Jamie and Rebecca. And uh, we thank you for watching and sending in your questions. Um, please be sure to watch Eastwick on ABC, Wednesday nights, 10 o'clock. Yay. Yay.